Hello and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. Today's topic is smoke shafts and more specifically, what should the fire rating of a smoke shaft be? Starting with the fire rating of the materials that smoke shafts are made from, approved document B, section 3.51, part three, states that the smoke shaft should be constructed from a class A1 material. With class A1 materials defined as materials that cannot contribute to a fire at any stage, including a fully developed fire, can be awarded class A1. The SCA guide aligns with approved document B, stating in section 6.4.1, smoke shafts should be constructed of non-combustible material. Section H of part 14.2.3.2 of BS 1091 elaborates on these definitions with, the smoke shaft should either be constructed of non-combustible materials, conforming to BS 476 part four, or of any material which when tested in accordance with BS 476 part 11, does not flame or cause any rise in the temperature on either the center of the specimen or the furnace thermocouples. Tongue twister there. So, some rather conclusive evidence here that smoke shafts mustn't add to the effects of a fire in any way and must be constructed out of materials that meet the fire rating of class A1. Class A1 are basically materials which would be given a non-combustible seal of approval. Now that we know the combustibility of the material a smoke shaft should be made from, we need to understand the required fire resistance. Approved document B defines fire resistance by saying it is measured in minutes, and this relates to time elapsed in a standard test and should not be confused with real time. Revisiting section 6.4.1 of the SCA guide, it states, the fire resistance of the shaft should be equivalent to the requirements of the elements of the structure through which it passes. The guide then goes on to say the fire rating of the vent should be equivalent to that of the smoke shaft or at least 60 minutes. This is to ensure the fire resistance of the smoke shaft is maintained when the vent on the floor of the fire origin is in the open position. Table four from BS 1091 gives us guidance on the fire resistance of elements of the structure, e.g. floors. For buildings of five meters, it requires 30 minutes. For buildings between five and 18 meters, 60 minutes. For those over 18 meters, 60 minutes. And for those over 30 meters, 120 minutes. So that leads us to conclude that the smoke shaft should either be 60 or 120 minute fire resistant, depending on the height of the building. I hope that helps answer the question of the fire resistance of a smoke shaft. If you have any further knowledge on this topic that you would like to share with us, we would love to hear from you. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like. If you'd like more content like this, try subscribing to our YouTube channel. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.